Who among us hasn't wanted to be a world record holder? Now I'm not talking about having your name in some book that everybody wanted to read back in grade 6. What I'm talking about is being the very best at something. One night, I was scrolling on my phone where I saw a post on the Crusader Kings 3 subreddit. It was from someone named Legacy Silver, all about how they were able to hit 100 development in a county by the year 940. I was blown away by this. For those of you who don't know, the game Crusader Kings 3 starts in the year 867, meaning this person hit the maximum development level in just 73 years. Now, I would consider myself a pretty good CK3 player. I mean, I'm the tall guy. But even then, the fastest I've ever hit 100 development in a video was 958. And that was using an exploit that got patched out of the game because of how overpowered it was. This was unacceptable. To prove my prowess as a professional CK3 player, I decided I would not rest until I alone had the world's fastest 100 development run. In order to accomplish such a monumental feat, I would need to develop a foolproof strategy not only to squeeze as much development as possible out of a single county, but to do it in the least amount of time. Thankfully, I didn't have to start from square one. I had Legacy's posts to go off of, but you can't just believe everything you read on Reddit, so I knew I needed to dive deeper. The county they chose for this challenge, Baghdad, seemed like a good option to me. It starts with 20 development, has 6 barony slots, also has a wonder that boosts your development growth, and is in floodplains. It was only when looking at the culture they created that I think I really stood a chance at beating the 940 date. Legacy had decided to start as a character with the Catalan culture. With the Fate of Iberia DLC, Paradox boosted how much development Catalan cities could provide, making them a great option for those empty barony slots in the Baghdad County. But I knew I wouldn't be able to beat Legacy's 940 date by just copying his strategy and hoping for better RNG. I needed to come up with a plan of my own. So I did what I always do in these tricky situations and made an Excel spreadsheet. Here I compared the powerful boosted Catalan cities to normal temple holdings with the megalith buildings in them. And as you can see, we only lose 5% dev growth with the temples. But I knew they would be much easier and more importantly faster to build, meaning their bonuses would be up way longer and earlier than the cities. So at this point I knew that temples would be the way to go in Baghdad, but it was only later I realized how much better those temples could be. The Burmese start- the Burmese have- do they start with ritualized friendship? I forget. Sorry. No. Fervent? You really think fervent's better than friendship? Oh, because you get the prestige too, right? And then you can use that to like, do cool stuff? To like, do cool stuff? To like, do cool stuff? That night, I started a game offline using the Burmese culture and I quickly realized it had major potential. So the next day, I booted up my stream and all we would need was the RNG to align. Okay, so we're gonna do a new game here. It might surprise you that we're actually not gonna be um, starting as somebody who owns Baghdad. We're actually starting as this duchy down here. The reason is because you can actually quickly get a hold of Baghdad like like maybe the first year or two in the game. So I'm going to show you guys all that. But first off, we're going to go into the create a ruler here. We're going to start um, as a male character. And our culture, we're actually going to be going for the Burmese culture. The main reason the Burmese are actually really interesting as a starting culture is because of the fervent temple builders tradition, which gets you a lot of prestige when you build temples and we want to get our temples done as fast as possible. It also makes uh, temples and the buildings in them really cheap if you have a certain amount, if you have a certain number of uh, perks. So what we decided to do for our perks is simple. All of our good perks come from things that either give us development flat out or make our temples cheaper. But in order to keep our customization points below 400, we needed to balance those good traits out with bad ones. 
which is what leads us to our interesting combo of starting traits for our character here. But actually, let's let's do Hail for health, and then we'll also take Hideous just to get us back down. Holy shit! And another thing, you're ugly. <laughs> Peak male form. So we are starting the run, guys. The very first thing we need to do in this run, um, as many of you probably know, but we need to fabricate a claim on Baghdad because once you get a claim, you can easily petition your leash just, and he'll just give you Baghdad. Uh, I think I'm going to go for stewardship again just because in the early game, you kind of want to have domains. And I'm going to pick up five perks here, guys, with stewardship before I switch to diplomacy. I'm going to pick up cutting cornerstones, professional workforce, centralization for the development growth. That's pretty much all we need. And then we're going to pick up golden obligations so we can squeeze people for money from their hooks and then meritocracy just in case we need to take the empire and then once we're done that we'll go to learning where we'll pick up scholar hold a body and then like pretty much all the learning perks okay i'm also going to try to find myself some wives here we're going to set up one wife based on stewardship Oops, not matching yeah. we're going to set up one wife based off learning and then the other wives, we're going to go for Alliance Power. So I, I last game, I also allied myself to these guys here, which was good because they're really close to you. And sometimes like having allies nearby is really important. So now all we have to do is just wait for our claim to go through on Baghdad. And I think we'll be good to go. Excellent. I tell you what, though, folks, that's bloody nice. Um, now that we have a claim on Baghdad, all you need to do to get the the title from him is just petition him for grant claim so we're gonna you have to walk all the way to his court um what do we got some dangerous stuff here we should spend some money to make sure we don't get murdered hear ye, hear ye. What's for breakfast? okay yeah so here you go he gives a counter offer 50 gold is all we have to give him and look at this he's just gonna give us baghdad so we gain a little bit of renown he gains some renown everyone's happy Okay, so now that we have Baghdad, the place that we are going to try to get to 100 development as fast as possible, we're going to need to do a few things. First of all, it's not of our culture, so it's really important that we start promoting the culture here because that takes a while. You can see 13 years for this guy. If we go to construct a new holding, you can see we can actually make a temple down here for the low price of 220 gold. The main reason that is so cheap is if I go over here, you can see we now getting discounts from... Uh, being humble, we get a 15% discount, and zealous, we get a 25% discount. And that's important because the faster we get these temples up, the faster we're going to gain piety and prestige from that, and then we can reform our religion and our culture. Ooh, you guys know I'm always the type to roll a, a chance event here. Hooray! The run could have just ended there, guys, but we survived. Are we back yet? Okay, so now that we're back in our capital, we can now move our capital to Baghdad. <laughs> Thanks for answering, Marxist. Yeah, so this this county right here, I can make a university, and that's going to be a big goal of ours too, because you can see it gets us 0.1 development growth and 10% more development growth per month. The only thing that's hard about making the universities is you have to have to exalted amongst men, but we're going to be trying to get as much prestige as we can anyway in order to like reform our um, culture. So we should be able to hit that, but the faster you hit that, the better for sure. Also, 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 I didn't show this, but you can see we gained 500 um, piety and 750 prestige for finishing these temples. So that should give us almost enough to reform our religion and culture on the spot. So what we're going to be going for the, for the religion is uh, Anaconism for even further temple discounts, Megalith Constructors for the beautiful development buildings that it comes with, and then um, the last thing I go for here is pacifism, Peace just for an love. extra domain. And, and everything else should be okay. So you can see right now it's really cheap, but I think the fervor is going to go up as we continue the game. But if we hit around 1,500 piety, uh, 2,000 piety, we can do that as soon as possible. Oh, we can actually pay this guy 25 to come. He's 51, so he won't last that long, but he'll definitely speed things up. So you can see 11 years for this guy. 
Let's appoint the 32 year old guy instead. And now it's only five years. That's going to be a big difference. Cheers, Jeff. More gold right now. So we got the second temple cooking five months on the first one. And I think we can start spending money actually in some of these territories. So let's get the uh, the trade ports cooking because also the more the more money we get, you know, the faster it's going to be to build stuff. OK, so we finished the other shrine. So let's have a look here. Could we actually create the, fa the faith here? Oh, we have enough guys. This is huge. I think we're good here. Oh, we're at war. We can't do this when we're at war. Crap, guys, that's really bad, actually. Oh, man, if the fervor goes up, we might get screwed here. I should have never accepted the war with this guy. You know, not have... Okay, wait, he's down 100%. Hopefully he, uh, he loses his battle here and then loses the war. Okay, perfect. Disband this, and now if we go to our religion, we still have enough. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's create our faith here. We now have Talism, and that's going to be perfect because if I go to my temples and I scroll down, you can now see we can spend $15 to make the Megalis, to make um, the barracks, not barracks, the uh, orchards, and to upgrade our trade port buildings. So this is really, really perfect, guys. And we actually got an extra domain from choosing pacifism, so we can hold seven domains now giving us a little bit more military strength and gold income and all that good stuff. For those of you who don't know, the other reason that Baghdad's so good is because in floodplains, you actually have access to the orchards building. And in one of the most recent, well, not that recent, I guess, it might've been tours and tournaments. They made it so that orchards actually act like trade ports and you get a 5% development bonus for each of these buildings. So it makes it so that these temples that we have down here, we can have the insane development combo of trade ports, orchards, and uh the megalith building which is like three development buildings in one temple absolutely insanely powerful i think that's what makes it more valuable than cities uh so now we're just gonna be pumping and it's gonna take what four months to build these things it should get faster and faster too once we actually start increasing the development here we can pick up centralization that's going to give us a ton more development you can see up to 1.3 now because of that I'm also going to do, this is the only exploit that I'm exploit that I'm going to allow myself to do here, guys. I'm going to do the move county capital exploit, which I think I showed in a video in my first video on tours and tournaments is where you just move around, uh, move your capital of your county around and you actually get extra buildings in those slots. You can see we had two buildings before and now we have three. It's free real estate. And that's because this will let us build the, um, the Megalus right in the beginning of the game. I'm also going to actually just go quickly up to limited crown authority. It's going to cost us some of our prestige, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, I'm going to do that so I can revoke this guy's title. And now we can hold all uh, six of these domains here. Do you suppose we could count together? Yeah. Okay. I'll go first and you go second. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll do the first one and then you, then you. I and, go first. Oh, you, you want to go, go first? Second. Okay, you go first. One, two, two three, three, four, five. But if we look over here, you should see all of our harbors and our fruit orchards are going to start taking into effect here. And uh, we should start really, really pumping development now. Develop capital reminder. Good shout. Good shout. Good shout. So we get 80 stress from that, which is a bit of a bummer, but let's roll it and see which uh, which negative modifier we get. We also have athletic already, right? So we can always have the option of taking this here, you know, do a little cheeky workout. And now uh, we go all the way up to 1.9 development per month. Maybe I'll have a feast and try to improve my friendship with this steward. So I haven't mentioned this yet, but if you can actually manage to become friends with your steward, that gives them a huge boost in the amount of development they give you from the increased development in a county task that they have. So this entire game, we are gonna be trying to have our steward as our friend pretty much the entire time. So the feast also, guys, gives you a 20% development increase. And you don't have to do an expensive feast. You can do the cheapest feast possible, as you can see right here, um, for 41 gold only. Yes, okay, look at this. 
We got the pop-up. He becomes our friend. Does that make this quicker even? I guess it did. I don't remember what it was at before. It's at eight months now, which is good. Because right when that's finished, we're going to be able to put him on development. And you should see this number like just go crazy. You've got mail. Huh? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What? Who's this guy, dude? I promise a feast going to be... I just did a feast, dude. Sorry you didn't come. What do you want me to do about that? And let's upgrade this. I think... Okay, I can upgrade these to tier 3 right now. But I think after that, I'm going to need to... Uh, get, I'm going to need to get Manorialism to get to the next one. Oh, no. Okay, so the convert went through on our culture, which is okay. It does mean we don't have city planning anymore. So I can't actually upgrade this Megalith to tier 3. But what I can do is... Um, oh yeah, I'm not the head of the culture because we didn't diverge yet. What I can do is diverge our culture now. We're going to go for bureaucratic for the extra development. Yes, okay. And like you said, loincloth, we can now take uh, agrarian for 200, uh, 2000 prestige. We're only missing, okay, we're just missing a tiny bit of prestige. So 78, we can just hold off until that happens. And the next thing I'm going to have to kind of worry about is taking some land in the uh in the baghdad duchy because we do need the duchy capital if we want to make our duchy building here that's going to get us more development the good thing is i can declare war against this guy but maybe i need to fabricate some claims so he's our friend you can see he's also 32 skilled he's getting us 1.85 development per month flat out and then we're going to be boosting that by all of our percent differences all of our percent bonuses here from our buildings that we've been making and you can see that gives us 7.4 development oh per month God. in uh, 875, which is pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. The speed at which we're completing stuff too now is just crazy, guys. Two months, look at these discounts. Well over 100% already. Uh, we're going to get... I don't know what to get next, really. Because we could go for farms and fields just to get more cash. But we have a lot of cash. I could maybe do something for our... Um, military but like i haven't had to fight any wars yet and i'd kind of like to keep it that way if i'm going to be honest with you okay so we're at 2500 martial customs yeah we can put equal and it doesn't cost anything else agrarian nothing else and let's hit a diverge right here boom there we go guys so we have agrarianism which you're going to see is going to increase our development by a lot a lot because not only are we now going to be getting a, another, I think it's 30% bonus because we're in floodplains and we have agrarianism. Let's just make sure that's right. Yeah, 30% development growth from the terrain, but also because I'm athletic, that's another 20%. So we're going to increase our development by 50% here, bumping it huh? 8.2 only. I thought it would go way higher than that. Maybe it takes a month. Sometimes it takes a month to go through. Okay, 9.4 guys. There it is. Now it's there agrarian so yeah 9.4 already just nine years into the game but other than that the temples are fully maxed out and the next time we can upgrade them is going to be only when we pick up manorialism which will be after 900 but we're gaining a lot of development so like going to early medieval is going to be really really quick okay we'll pick up meritocracy and i'll just go learning we'll go learning and if we get screwed in terms of becoming a friend we can always switch back and take friendship but i think learning is going to be more important right now we're already at double digits development switching to that my goodness guys i'm gonna fabricate a claim over here because i think i need three counties to be able to create the duchy and that's kind of the next step and then after we get the duchy the next step after that will be to uh create the kingdom I think I'm going to upgrade my men at arms a little bit here. Oh, actually, I wanted to build a barracks down here. The barracks is going to be good because it's going to get our palace guards even stronger. You can see they're making 30% more damage from where they're stationed, but that's going to get up to 50 when we finish that barracks. And I'll actually upgrade these guys too. And maybe get another thing of onagers and maybe max out our bowmen. Just because, like, you see these big stacks running around? If we had a strong enough military, I could lead the armies fighting these guys, and I would gain more prestige from those battles, which is pretty good. Okay, we got city planning down to 15 years, and it's only going to get faster and faster, guys, as we increase our development. We're already up to um, 24 in Baghdad, and we lost diligent planning, and we're not stressed, so we might as well do it again. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? 
Um, this guy's losing battles, actually. That's good. Let's take this when he's weak. Independence War. Okay, that's interesting. It's actually not the end of the world if these people break off because that'll make it a little bit easier. Oh, what the heck? Why are you invading me down here? Don't attack me. I have nothing to do with your war. Okay, he's going to attack me here. But I should win this. I don't have a good commander. That's kind of what I'm missing. Like, they got a guy who's 27 skill. Oh, no way, guys. Look at this. We're going to lose this battle. Uh, okay, we'll wound ourselves. Oh, no. Our steward died. This is... Uh, everything's going bad right now. You can see our development dropped to 3.1 from that. Oh, not good. If we have a shitty steward who's not our friend, you can see it only goes up to 3.9. Oof. That's a pretty big hit. I can't believe we're gonna lose this battle. Is it all just because he has a better commander? In the arms of the we should be able to hit him back though after this, once we replenish our troops a little bit. And we'll find a new wife based off of martial ability this time. Which, actually my wife would just be a better commander and she has aggressive attacker, so I might just do that. Uh, it is across a river, but since we took this land here, we don't get the penalty for defending across the river crossing because we actually have the territory. So yeah, we're going to hop in here and we should win that battle. Gotcha. Um, go up to 53%. Oh, look, there's a rebellion down here. That's why. So I'm probably going to lose these two territories, but honestly, that's okay. We only really care about Baghdad at this point. Let's pin this guy. We'll sway him. He looks like he could be a good steward. Or should I just gift him? Let's gift him. Let's see if he's going to accept this. Okay. So we got a good steward back at least. And the next thing we have to work on is befriending him. And it is the stabilization phase. So we learned that we can actually befriend in the stabilization phase, which is really good. We'll also demand his conversion because that should get him up to 100. Okay, almost gets him to 100. Befriend. 100% 100 chance he will accept that. So. Once that goes through, he will give us more development. Right now, he's giving us 0 0.5, which brings us up to 5.1. But once he's our friend, we should get back up to around 10. It'll be good once our daughters start turning 16, because then we can marry them off for stewards and like we'll never run out of uh, potential quarters. Kind of wife and put the wife on train commanders, because this is actually like a really good. Uh, so yeah, this this is like the best martial ability because you can see it increases your knight effectiveness and men at arms damage and toughness based on your steward's skill. So we're going to get a 21% boost to our damage and knight effectiveness, which are like two of the most important stats when in battles anyway. So like try to always have your steward on, I mean your marshal on this like activity, unless you have to increase control in some of your land, which I kind of do have to increase this, but I could also just hire this court position that'll slowly get more of it. And uh, in the meantime though, I will fabricate a claim over here, I think. Or we have somebody I can actually declare war for this. It'll go to this lady, but I think that's okay. Because then I'll still be able to create the uh, the duchy there. So I think I'll do that. Where is this guy running to? Don't kill these guys. Don't kill them. They're friendly. Uh, okay, so they won that war. So now I only have these areas. But again, that's okay. We actually have six of six domains, which is good. We'll take that and then this war will be done and then we can make Baghdad and we won't have to worry about that happening. Why are these guys so strong? Like, they just have a lot of knights? I only have four knights? Whoa, 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 whoa. Three knights were just chilling over there. Okay. Yeah, so don't forget to re-raise your armies after you lose battles or after you get into battles. Because often a lot of your knights are uh, just stuck. Just stuck there. Oh, what? How are we losing this? Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think we have to increase our men at arm strength because we should not be losing battles where we have the same strength as people like that. If we look at Baghdad, we should... Oh, yeah, so I'm, unfortunately I'm going to have to take the rest of this land away from him. But I could probably petition him to get them. Or just actually declare war on him because he only has 3,000 men. Uh, it kind of sucks we lost this land though because it puts us, we have less territory to create the kingdom which is going to be one of our goals. But I think we actually get a claim over here 
So we can always take that back. But uh, the problem is he's pretty strong because of that like weird war he did. The weird war type. Oh, we have to spend 120 gold for this guy's friendship to keep going. But I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. Okay, there you go. We became friends. So now if we look at his friendship, or his, uh, he's giving us 1.75 development, which brings us... Um, let's wait a month for that to go through, hopefully. Up to 9.9 .9 again. So we're kind of back to where we were before. It took a few years, but we're still gaining... We're still gaining pretty quickly. The next goal we have, so we have to create the kingdom. That's one of our goals. Uh, get the duchy. That's another goal. Other than that, we can reform our culture at any time. And we're going to want to pick up garden architects, which is going to cost 7,000. But we need to get to uh, exalted amongst men anyway. And I think it's 5k to go from illustrious to exalted amongst men. So both of those are going to play together. So now I'm kind of going to, anytime I see something that gives me prestige, I'm going to try to take it. And once I just finish upgrading a few more of these development buildings, I'll spend all my money on things like feasts and um, hunts and then even uh, grand weddings and grand tournaments and things like that just to get my prestige up really quick. You naughty, naughty. Okay, we got, ooh, we got a secret on the actual emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Wow, that is crazy. Probably won't accept it. Oh, he does accept it. 225 gold, guys. That's crazy. Gold, please. Oh my goodness. Yo, this guy is really willing to pay out. What was I doing? Okay, I'm gonna upgrade my military now. Get five out of five for these guys. Oh, you know what actually I should do? I think it's time for some elephants. Oh, 500 gold? Many. I thought it was 300 for them. Maybe it was 300 because I had that tradition last time I was playing. But I will get rid of these light in they're shitty, I don't like them. So wait, wait, everybody has these guys, right? What's good against them? Is it really light in? <laughs> yeah, that's the only guys, wow, okay. Oh, actually elephants aren't bad in um, floodplains, they're bad in wetlands. So maybe I will, because they also counter heavy infantry, so maybe I will do that. But 500 gold is freaking steep. Okay, war attack, if he gets yeah, if he starts losing this war really badly, I think oh, no. I'm going to uh, declare war on him. Anyway. But I have to kill some peasants first. I think my army is pretty strong now, and I should start maybe... Um, I should maybe do a grand wedding. Like her, actually. Let's try to find... We could find a good sort using her, maybe, if we find a young person. Yeah, this guy's 28. So we'll do a grand wedding with him. Because I need to get my prestige up to diverge the culture next to pick up guardian architects because that's going to get us a lot more development. Oh my goodness, look at all these hooks guys. I didn't realize I was had so many hooks just waiting. Six people, what do we got? 50 gold here. 10 here, 50, Money. 50, Gold, please. Money. 50, and 2 for my daughter, nah, we'll let my daughter keep her gold, okay, so we have 500 gold, we can definitely plan a good wedding now, so this should put us a decent amount of the way to Exalted Amongst Men, but we might have to do another thing after that, yeah, so here we're going to take anything that gives us um, prestige, essentially, can I develop capital from here? Oh, I can. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to be developing capital while at this event, and then I can get rid of this stress. So that's actually pretty good. More prestige should be good. Thank you all for coming. So we get 1,200 prestige from that. We're almost at Exalted Amongst Men, and we're kind of getting to be able to uh, pick up Guardian Architects, although we're still pretty far from that. I can. Okay, so I'm going to declare war on the Emperor. Right now, I'll declare war for my claims. We'll raise the whole army because we can't take any chances against this guy. Who knows what he has up his sleeve, although he's really weak, to be fair. Okay, we're going to catch his little army here. Gotcha. Then we can take this tile and we should be good. Um, Split off some guys. We don't need that many levies anymore, to be honest. So at least we can continue to make some money while we do this war. And we can now pick up Scholar, which is a great trait 
Uh, I'll show you, just show you guys this. We get another 15% development growth from that. Some more temple discounts, but like our temples are already free to upgrade, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Boom. Thank you very much. That's much better. Oh, Stuart, 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 except <laughs> sometimes the uh, they ask me to be their counselor, but the game is playing at times five speed, and then I miss it. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna declare one that little baby down there also. This I can give that this lady who's in my court. Whenever the truce runs out, she can declare war for that piece of land, and then I'll be able to take the entire duchy away from him. And kingdom-wise, we're only missing two counties. So I'm going to declare war for this county down here. Oh no, I can get both of them right now. Look at this. Oh, but it costs a lot of prestige. Okay, no. Yeah, so we have my claim. Because this was my land before, so I still technically have claims for it. So I'll raise everyone here, and we should be able to beat these guys. Okay, we should catch them here. And then we'll go over here. And we should have this really soon. Boom, there you guys go. So I think we have enough land to become the Kingdom of Mesopotamia. 500 gold, we also have that ready to go. It's going to give us 400 prestige, which we really need. And now we actually have the court, so we can bump everything up to maybe tier 5. Uh, with the administrator's court, and you'll see once we get to level 7, court grandeur, we're going to be getting another 0.2 development per month, which is going to be perfect. <laughs> uh... Altrez, that's... <laughs> I agree, man. You do say some crazy stuff playing this game, but like I don't even notice at this point. The babies are just so easy to invade, you know? What do you mean by that? Okay, so how are we doing? We're almost... We're a thousand prestige away from Exalted Amongst Men, and we're about three thousand prestige away from Guardian Architects. Two uh, really important things to get us more development. I'm going to start... Uh, killing some of these neutral armies for prestige as well, because we really need to get more prestige. Okay, put her on chivalry. You can now see we are a 22 rank commander, which, you know, isn't amazing, but it should be enough to win all these battles and hopefully not die. Okay, so let's look. We gained almost 100 prestige from that, and we should be able to attack this guy for some more. Nope. Nope. Oh, what? He juked us last second. Bastard. Gotcha, bitch. It's a bit risky because we could always die in one of these battles, but I think it's going to be worth it now for the prestige. That's like really what we're missing the most. Okay, we should find him here on our defensive terrain, which is good. Okay, I became friends with my second uh, steward option. So that's good. And we gained 140 prestige from that. Uh, I'll do it. I'll actually do another. I'll do another uh, feast here now. Maybe I'll do an expensive feast too in Baghdad for more prestige. And we can start going down a whole of body now, which is going to be helpful because we actually still have good health. So that's okay. Okay, we are exalted amongst men. Let's go down here, guys. And we can do this. I don't get why this got converted. This happened in my other game too. Huh? I'm so confused by that. Did I hit a pop-up where I, I could accidentally converted that? Okay. This should be finished pretty quickly though, I would think. The university. We still have diligent planning and how's our court doing? We're only at four, okay. Okay, 10.7. We hit a bit of a stale point here, but the second we get into the year 900 and we pick up manorialism, it should speed right back up. And it looks like we do have the university done, so that's another 0.1 and 10% boost. Oh yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is do another Grand Wedding, because that should get me to 7,000 and I can pick up Garden Architects. That's what I want to do. Okay, we're at 7,000, guys, and it's not even over. Let's go down here, go to the Culture, Reform, pick up boop, 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 Garden Architects. So five years we'll have that. Thank you all for coming. Finish the wedding. Perfect, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, why was that so much cheaper than it was before? 260 only. Okay, we'll pick up some more elephants then. Oh yeah, the other thing I need to do is upgrade my city buildings. I'll do that too. Because uh, the mayor actually did a good job getting guilds and fruit orchards. Those are the two development ones. But that'll also speed up the development just a little bit. 
Okay, we have a new liege, actually. Did he lose his alliances? He did. We could do a war. He's 6,000 men. Should we do this? But if we get this, we'll then get the duchy. I think, it, honestly, it's probably worth it. Let's do a war. I don't need any allies, do I? But I could call him in. The good thing is we're so close to his uh, his capital, we can just run right into there. I know, right? Declaring war against your your empire leaves just for one county. But we're kind of running the whole thing. We're like, we have way more military strength than him. <laughs> Court grandeur level 6? Okay, only one away, guys. What's the development at? 11.4. Oh, look at that. We got a crazy weapon from him. What? Spirit of the Prophet? 20% night effectiveness. That is actually so powerful, guys. Yo, let's go. Oh, he's got another alliance now with Egypt. Getting a little bit worried now. Where's his army? If we could smack his army down a little bit, little bit I would feel better about this war. Oh no, he's running to Egypt. Cheeky bastard. Okay, he seems to still be alone, which is interesting to me. Okay, Court Granger just went to seven, guys. We have a peasant uprising, which I'm not worried about. Let's check the, the development. 11.6. What did we lose? We lost something here. Court type. No, I guess we're okay. How are we doing for Guardian Architects 18? Okay. We could fight them. It says they have more men at arms counters, but I still like our odds. Oh, and we caught them split up. That's actually huge. Boom, look at these beautiful stack wipes, guys. No, that's a lot of damage. I don't know where he's retreating to. Like, my territory? Where are you going, brother? Oh, he's gonna get destroyed here. <laughs> I can, like, hear the sound effects in my head <laughs> when those guys are fighting. Uh, we're about to hit 100%. There it goes. Enforce the demands. Let's disband our army. I don't care about this war. We're supposed to be helping our ally in. It's 902 and we're only seven months away, guys, from going into the next era, mainly because our one county culture is already at 50 development. Oh, I have Baghdad now. Okay, perfect. So now I should be able to go here and make the duchy building. Well, I just need a bit more gold and then I can make it. Uh, so yeah, we're making the great megalith now. That's going to get us one 0.1 tax per month, but more importantly, we want the 15% development growth. Because if we go over here, you can see we're now making 12.5. We're getting pretty much everything other than gardeners, unless we have gardeners. 31 days to get gardeners, so that's going to be a huge increase there. Right there, you saw we hit gardeners. Let's see if we have any good gardeners in my court. No. But there's a decision down here to recruit a gardener. It does cost a bit of gold, so we'll have to wait a couple seconds. So we recruit a gardener. Um, hopefully he's decent. Yeah, so even an average gardener is going to get us 0 0.4. 0 0.4 development per month. So now if we look over here, you can see that brings us up to 14, guys. A 0 0.4 increase pretty much increase, increased our development by 3 because of all these bonuses. And we are about to go into the next era, which is going to make our temples insanely more powerful. There it goes, guys. It just hit. We can get manorialism in just six years, guys, because we have so much development here. And um, I think we might be able to hit 100 in maybe just 25 more years. Because if we can get the monthly development to get us two development per year then it would only take 25 more years to hit 100. And I think we can do a little bit faster than that, guys. It might be absolutely insanity here. People are dying, but that's okay. Oh, we also don't have the banquet thing right now. So maybe I'll do a feast quickly. Do a cheeky, cheap feast in Baghdad. The lowest cost we can get here. Just to get that 20% bonus from it. Betrothal, decline. We also pretty much have like unlimited kids that we can marry off. That's a funny little character. I like that. <gasps> what the fuck? I'm ugly and I'm proud. Look at this little kid right here. Oh my goodness. The only thing I'm, I have to worry about now is dying. That's like the main thing. 
That's really the only thing that could possibly end this run. Um, so yeah, we just got the Great Banquet, which gives us another 20% development growth, putting us at 15.6. And we're just waiting for Manorialism right now, pretty much. And yeah, how long do we got for that? Five years, so not too bad. Who died? Okay, the steward died, guys. This is bad, but we were preparing somebody, although I don't know where he went. Is it not this guy? Why can't I make him my... Um... Uh, where does he live, this guy? Why is he not in my court? We were training this guy to be our... Uh, steward. I wonder if it's... I can't... Um... Is it because he's our vizier? Yes! Okay, we might have to remove him here. We're gonna get stressed out, but I think that's why he's not available. Yeah, here he is. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the other guy who wasn't our friend was only getting us like 0.55 development per month, but this guy is giving us 1.68, which is really like the most important thing for this run. It did drop us a little bit because he's not as good. Oh yeah, I also wanted to try to find a better gardener because we can get a gardener that has 0.7 would be the best. So inside, not ruler, and let's look for the gardener trait. This guy would just come dead ass to my court. Excellent, look at this guy. So he has, the guy we have right now is giving us 0 0.4. We're gonna switch him for this guy. He goes up to 0 0.7 and now our development goes up to 15.2. And we lost diligent planning, I think. So I have to do a diligent planning again. Uh, develop, I mean, develop capital. Boom. So that puts us at what? 16.1 now, guys. Very nice. Big plan, Jack. Uh. I'm not sure what you mean. My big plan is to get 100 development as fast as humanly possible and then make a great YouTube video about it. Ooh. That's why people- Oh, he, what? he just died! What? Dude, what the heck? Okay, this guy. Okay, he's also excellent and he's not like 60 years old, so this guy should survive a little bit longer. Let's see, how old is he? 36. Okay, this guy's gonna be a perfect gardener for us. Oh, who is this guy though? What is- Oh my goodness. This is what I was talking about before, like being worried about. Uh, these sponsored conquests, because I can't like... I can't join these. Oh, actually I can probably join this one because it's with a guy. Yeah, yeah, we can join this one. Some of these you couldn't join if it was a sponsored conquest from somebody in the... Uh, inside the Abbasid Empire, because I am a vassal. But the good thing is I can offer to join this war. And raise my whole army here and you guys should see. Um, these guys are going to run for the hills, quite literally, because we do have 75 war elephants, which if we take a look at the war elephants, they are doing 320 damage. Now let's just take this, it's not worth fighting them on uh, bad terrain. There you go. I'm going to save my money just to be able to spend it on our... Um, buildings once we get manorialism, but then I'll upgrade my men at arms and we'll have like an absolutely crazy army we could do some fun stuff with towards the end. Yes, okay, so we picked up whole of body, that should keep us alive. We actually have good health at 60, so I'm liking our odds here now, guys. Um, and we should have manorialism right there. Oh, what is this? Encourage development? Where? In Baghdad? Yes, let's go. So what are we ripping? 17.3, guys, remember that? And we're gonna upgrade all our temples here. I can already right away just start upgrading like the trade ports here because Baghdad actually starts with a level 2 castle which is nice. Yeah, you should see my gold income is going to skyrocket. Oh, what is this 30%? No wonder I lost a lot of money. Our gold income and our development is about to skyrocket. I'm going to take Bailiffs next I think because it's going to get me an extra building slot in all my in all my places. And then I'll probably do coinage just for the development sh flat out. Here I have to kind of be careful because I'm going to want to like, the second my temples are ready to upgrade, I'm going to want to upgrade them. So I think I'm going to do the Megalis first maybe. Because as you can see, you can actually go to tier 8 Megaliths once you have uh, Manorialism unlocked. And tier 8 Megaliths gives you 35 development and 0 0.07 development growth. So they're actually insanely valuable here. A few moments later. Okay, I think I will do these ones, these trade ports and stuff actually first because it's going to get me more money and the more money I have, the more 
I'll be able to upgrade. I'm like switching. I'm all over the place right now. I'm just excited. Okay. So already, guys, we're at 17.3 now with all these buildings getting upgraded. Wow, I don't know what this 30%, civil service and chaos, like where did that come from? It was a pop-up I wasn't paying attention to. Oh, okay, yeah. You guys are right. That's from firing him, eh? It's, I, I had to do it though. I don't know what else I would have done, right? We needed the guy with the friendship. Like having a steward with friendship is more important, I think. Let's continue to upgrade. Yeah, how much are we paying our liege actually? Oh, only 1.8 gold. That's really not that much. That's why I think it's more valuable. He, he's giving us more for being his steward than anything else. Huh? Round one. Fight! Oh, what did I just do? Why did I try to fight this guy? It's not to the death, is this? I don't like this at all, because I have three prowess. Oh, no way we won. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Like, I didn't even care about the banner. That's the worst part. We're making 18.6 development now. And I just finished going through to all the trade ports and uh, orchard buildings. And then next is going to be all the um, megalith buildings. I think I'll put my spy master back on now that they were discovered in um, Samara. I'm going to put them over here in the Byzantines again. Gold. Before 930 would be absolutely insane. Yes, more money. Give me more money. I need money right now. How stressed am I actually? Oh, actually, do I have to diligently plan? Yeah, so I'm missing planning. And I'm missing the feast bonus. So let's do the feast to lose the stress first. Uh, although we're missing a good amount of gold. Okay, wait, we need more gold first. Ah, oh, panic. Okay, wait, let's blackmail. <laughs> more perks that I don't need. Now let's do the feast. In Baghdad to get the more... Get more development growth. Start that. Once we lose the stress, I'll do digi diligently plan, and that'll get me another 0.2 development per month. Oh, okay. We're also picking up treasure knowledge, which gets us another 20% development growth. So we should go up to what? 21.2 now, guys. And we're missing some really important things still. Oh, we just discovered bailiffs, so we're gonna switch the capitals. Everything's happening at once. If we move our capitals all over, we're gonna get another building. In all these places and then we can go over and pick up coinage next for the 10% development growth and here I think I'll do uh, farms and fields everywhere I'll actually do these right away because they're so cheap they're only 15 gold and they get me a lot of money so that's gonna be really worth it okay let's upgrade these farms and fields the farms and fields also uh, when you get them to tier 4 give you another 5% development so getting three tier 4 farms and fields will increase our development by another 15% and we're missing the um, we are missing this decision to develop our capital, which gets us uh, 0.2, and you can see that puts up to 22.3 now, guys. And we're still in the fee, so we can lose this stress right away. So that's going to give us another 20% actually. So now we go up to 23. Um, I have to get this guy and befriend him during the stabilization phase. That's going to be really important. So let's get that going, because if our steward dies, how old is he? 52? And he's famished. Why? Eat food! What are you doing? You have to survive, my friend. Yes, okay, we became friends, so that's really good. Oh, look at the timing, guys! Our steward dies, and we have a new steward ready to go. And we're making 24 development. God damn, guys. God damn, that's actually perfect. I, Giovanni, I have to thank you for that because you're always reminding me. You're always reminding me to get the second suit ready. So tier 4 farms and fields will get me to extra 5 development out of all the temples, which is good. Boom, that's the last one. We're near coinage. Now I can start putting some money into the, um, uh, the castle buildings. We're actually in the castle uh, era right now, which is good too. What are you talking about? Castle era, what am I talking about? We're in like the stabilization phase, so you have discounts on your castle buildings. Is what I meant to say. Oh jeez, look at this dude. This, this is not my grandson, okay. dude. My my good looks have been transferred down through my entire dynasty, it seems. Okay, so this is a fully upgraded temple. We got tier 8 megaliths, tier 4 farms and fields, 
uh, tier four trade ports and tier four orchards. So that this one temple is giving us an 80% development growth plus 0 0.07 flat out. And that's just one temple. We have three of those. We also have a city, which I can actually spend some money upgrading once we have time. And then the two castles as well. And we're probably going up 24 development. That's like uh, a development every four months, guys. So three development per year right now. And we only have 23 development left to go. No way. Is he strong, actually? Why is he strong? <gasps> what? He wants to take Baghdad from me. <laughs> oh my god, why does this have to happen right at the end? Oh man, let's decline it. We got three guys who are going to join the rebellion with us. Oh, and he moved his capital away, the bastard. So what has he got going for him? Oh, why does he have so many alliances? Okay. Well, this is why you have like a million kids. I'm surprised he got so strong because he was so weak before. I really wasn't worried about him. Okay, wait, I got to sit up here. We got to do some serious gaming. We cannot let this run fall apart here. I mean, the good thing is we have really strong men at arms and a really good economy. This guy is going to regret this decision. Don't make me kill you. Good thing is I do have a lot of prestige to spend on calling all these allies in. Oh, I can actually ally with myself too. I forgot about that. Yikes. We're gonna have to marry some five-year-olds here, guys. Please don't judge me. I may be 65, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it. Stop it. Get some help. If I raise my whole army, we still make 17 gold per month. So that's actually good. We can continue to uh, upgrade our buildings to squeeze more development out, which is the end goal. Because we'll keep developing even if we're at war. The only problem would be if they start seizing Baghdad. So we have to defend Baghdad at all costs. I, the thing I love about fighting in this region is the supply limits are crazy. Like, look at the supply limit in Baghdad. 26,000. I don't know where he's going even. What development are we at? We're at 80. And we're gaining 25.1. Where's he going? I mean, like, if you're going to uh, waste your supplies down here, then by all means. Should we try fight? Let's try to fight him down here, actually. If he's going to have low supplies, it could be a really good battle for us. Oh, let's get in here, guys. Is he in debt, too? No, not quite. He's almost in debt, though. Nope. Oh, he just dodged us. Bastard. Okay, we got coinage giving us more development. Now, at this point, I don't think there's anything else really to get. We can get battlements just to be able to upgrade that other castle. But all these other things won't really help us in terms of development growth. We're up to 25.5 now, guys. Okay, let's just take some of his land, I guess. Oh, let's take his old capital. Okay. I think we win this, even though he has way more men than us. We don't need that right now. Oh my god, you bastard, stop running. Okay. He's pretty much done though. He slowed our development down a little bit though by seizing. You got mail. Dude, they want me to go. Uh, they want me to go into my court right now. It's like I'm in the middle of a huge war against the head of the Havasid Empire, my liege. Although we did just stack wipe his entire army. Let's go. What's the war? Is the war target his capital? How many troops we lose from this? Send my men over there. They're going to die. A lot of them are going to die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay, there you go, guys. Beat that guy back. Loser, loser. We're at 86, guys. Only 14 more development to go. Let's develop my capital. Oh, I can't because I'm at war. Why did I accept this stupid war? I hate these guys asking me to join wars. And it's all the way over here. Oh. I mean, it won't change that much, I guess. 
Okay, we're, we're at 90 guys, only 10 more development to go. We're getting 24.2 right now. Yeah, I shouldn't, that's true. All my new alliances should deter anybody from trying to invade me. Let's see if we can end this war, just to get that like nice, really high development. Oh, let's see this battle actually. So we got all my men at arms here, 18 knights um, against double the amount of men. This should be interesting actually. And I think they get defensive terrain too, right? Yeah. What? They said I was about to win and then I lost out of nowhere? Okay, they're gonna come back here. And my ally is not even gonna try to help. Dude, what are you doing? Oh my god. Doesn't matter at the end of the day, guys, because we've got bigger fish to fry over here. <sighs> okay, what are we getting though? 24.2. It would be nice if we had the, the diligent just for, like, say that we had such a high number. Guys, I don't want to jinx anything, but we're at 94 development, making 24.4 right now. I can upgrade these development buildings in the second castle in my land. Just to squeeze a little bit out, 96 now, 97, upgrade this last trade port over here, oh my god get the pop ups out of here, I'm trying to watch my development go up, that's 99 guys, 99, oh my goodness. Get the last development building. Once I upgrade that, I think I have literally every single development building maxed out for where I am. I guess other than the city. I could have put some money into the city and upgraded those. And we're making 25.0. Oh my days, guys. Here we go. In just four, in exactly four months. These big chunks that come out of this development thing are so satisfying too. Boom. <laughs> One fourth right there. Boom. 50% guys. My son is dying, but I couldn't care less at this point. Boom. <laughs> One more month guys. January 9.25 There it is guys, we did it! We did it! Woo! Let's go! A hundred development in 9.25 Yo! Oh my god, that is crazy! Look how beautiful Baghdad is. Okay, wait, let's look at my favorite map. The development map, guys. Shining, shining bright Baghdad. A hundred development. And what has the AI done in this whole time? 30. 32. 26. 25. They're at 32 development, guys. We are at 100 in 925. And this idiot finally finishes his war at the same time. Okay. And it, man, it is just crazy. 58 years from the start of the game, we hit 100 development in one life. Look at this poor bastard. He just wants to die. He's been like min-maxing his entire life. Let's go. So we actually have the fastest research speed of all time. Like let's say if we took something that has the lowest amount of research, it would only take us three years to get because we have a 100% chance and average development of 100 development in all of our cultures, counties. But I have to say again, thank you all for joining, uh, for witnessing this fun, fun time. And give me a couple of weeks and I'll get a video out for all you guys. It's been way too long, but I really wanted to, I was like, I really wanted to do this video and I just have to kind of like commit for it. Uh, okay, let me go to the end screen. Put some good music on for you guys. Happy holidays guys, Merry Christmas. Thanks, Yuvani. 
Thanks, Pixel. Thanks, guys. You guys are legends. See you guys in the future. <laughs> Very festivist. Okay. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Get excited for a good video. Bye, guys. Peace out.